This video lecture is meant to cover the information found in Chapter 10 on moles, molar mass, and molar conversions. You will need a calculator and a periodic table in order to really follow through with this lecture. So if you don't have those things, please take a moment to collect those things and then come on back to the video. First question on this worksheet where we're getting started with the concept of molar conversions is one mole of methane weighs how much? Well, methane has the formula CH4 and if you go to the periodic table, carbon has a molar mass of 12.0 grams per mole and each hydrogen weighs 1.0 but there's four of them so that's 4.0 and so adding all that up it turns out that one mole of methane will weigh 16.0 grams. The next question says, how many molecules will be in one mole of methane? Well, this question doesn't matter that it's methane. One mole of any, any substance will, of course, have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. So now the question is, well, what if you don't have one mole of methane? What if you have half of a mole of methane? How much will it weigh? Well, one mole of methane weighed 16 grams, so half of a mole will weigh 8 grams. Question number four says, how many molecules will there be in half of a mole of methane? So how many molecules? Well, one mole of methane had 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules, so half of a mole will have 3.01 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Question number five. How much will 2.0 moles of methane weigh? Well, we know that one mole weighed 16 grams. So two moles will be double that, 32.0 grams. How many molecules will there be in 2.0 moles of methane? Well, one mole had 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, so if you double that number, you get 12.04 times 10 to the 23 molecules, which is 1.204 times 10 to the 24, if we adjust that number to proper scientific notation. Question number seven says, one mole of sodium hydroxide, NaOH, weighs how much? So consulting your periodic table, you will find that sodium weighs 23.0 to the nearest tenth, one oxygen weighs 16.0, and one hydrogen weighs 1.0. So adding all that up, you get 40.0 grams. So one mole of sodium hydroxide will weigh 40.0 grams. How many formula units will there be in one mole of sodium hydroxide? Well, one mole will have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 formula units. It's called a formula unit because NaOH is an ionic compound, and the smallest particle of an ionic compound is a formula unit. How much will 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide weigh? Okay. 0.25 is the same thing as a quarter. So a quarter, if one mole weighs 40 grams, then a quarter of a mole of sodium will weigh a quarter of 40 grams, which is of course 10.0 grams. Number 10, how many formula units will there be in a quarter mole of sodium hydroxide? Well, a quarter of 6.02 times 10 to the 23 will yield your answer. So a quarter of 6.02 ends up being 1.50 times 10 to the 23 formula units. Number 11, how many moles are in 1.20 times 10 to the 24th formula units of sodium hydroxide. So now I'm asking you this question sort of in the reverse. You might recognize this number 
1.20 times 10 to the 24th as being double Avogadro's number. So therefore, this is 2 moles. Number 12, how many formula units are in 20 grams of sodium hydroxide? Okay, and here's where this starts to get a little more complex. 20 grams of sodium hydroxide, you might recognize 20 grams is half of 40. Right, 20 grams is half of 40. So this is 0.5 of a mole. Because 20 divided by 40 is half of a mole. But the question is not asking how many moles, it's asking how many formula units. Well, you know that one mole has 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Now we have half of a mole, so that's going to work out to 3.01 times 10 to the 23 formula units. So you can see these problems can start to get a little more complex. And there's going to come a time, right about now, when we're going to have to learn how to set up these problems in a little bit more of a formal manner. This has been mental math so far, uh, but what we need to do now is to set up, um, return to our dimensional analysis techniques in order to um, be able to solve problems that are uh, trickier and you're going to need more than just mental math.